What's up, what's up, what's up everyone? It is Jason Janai and welcome back to my channel. It's great to have you here and in this video I'm talking all about DJ drops. What are they? How to use them? Where to get them? When to use them? What not to do with them? And at the end of this video I'm releasing a contest today so that we gift one subscriber here on the channel a super dope audio branding drop kit courtesy of Tony T and Drop House Studios, my favorite go-to place for drops so let's get into it talking all about dj drops quite candidly drops have been a big part of my overall mixes and events for a very long time as a matter of fact tony t who owns drop house studio and i started working together at sce event group because i would always go to tony to get my audio drops when i would use them Jason. on my Jason. fm radio shows the mix shows that i would do that were yeah, yeah, different yeah, FM yeah, stations yeah. were always created by tony t he's kind of like been my go-to for a long time drops are really, really simple. What they are is essentially a way for a DJ to identify themselves or their company or the event or the station while DJing. I typically use them in radio mix shows. I typically use them in events when I need to identify myself. And I've used them in different ways and in different capacities over the years. They are essentially a way to identify yourself and what's going on. You can also use them with a call to action. Follow Jason on Instagram at Jason Janai, just like this. Instagram. Keep up with Jason. Jason on Instagram. Instagram, Instagram. At, 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 at Jason Janai. Janai. Jason, Jason Janai. Janai. And you can even use them to brand not just the DJ, but the company like this. Instagram, Instagram. behind the scenes stories, stories, and event images. Follow at SCE Event Group. SCE Event Group. SCE Event Group. Visit us online at sceweddings.com. SCE. So I wanted to share with you not just what they are, but how I think the best way is to use them when you're DJing in the future. So that if you're a DJ that uses drops, you can level up your overall performances. First and foremost, the best way to use them is during a non-busy part of the song. I like to use drops when almost there's a beat for beat, beat matching kind of like area where you're maybe blending two songs together or things are not too busy or complicated. They're easy to hear. The drop then sits on top of the music and is very powerful. It's easy to understand. It's easy to grasp as a listener. And depending on where you are, if you're driving in a car and you hear it on a radio show, if you're in a club, you know, the drop still has the same kind of like use here. And again, it's to identify the DJ or the event or the company, or a call to action to help promote yourself in some way, shape, or form. One piece of advice I would give anyone is not to use a drop when there's a busy part of the song. Never compete with vocals in a song and use a drop at the same time. It's almost overwhelming to listen to, and a lot of times when you do that, the drop itself gets lost in the sauce and people don't even listen to what it is because they can't understand what it is because it's not standing itself apart from the rest of what's going on. So again, the best place to use a drop is when you're beat matching two songs together, you're blending two songs together, or even on a buildup that's not overly busy or a breakdown. If there's a breakdown in a song where things kind of get slow or quiet, that would be a great place to use a drop. I think you get the most power, the most benefit, and the most kind of retention using a drop at that point. So a lot of people ask, where do I get my drops? And quite frankly, over the years, I've gotten drops from a lot of different places. I've made them myself. There's apps that you can create drops. I've gone to places like Fiverr and gotten very inexpensive drops. And I've also kind of spent and invested money in audio branding packages with people like Tony T. Netto and Drop House Studio. Drop House has always been my go-to. I think they are professionally sounding drops. I think they come in a lot of different ways. One thing that I really like that Tony does that I found to be different from any other place on the internet that sells or offers drops is he takes the time to understand who you are, what you do, how you're gonna be using the drops, and then he creates a drop kit essentially for you, for your use. Now, one thing that I like to do with Tony is I like to get my drops 
wet and dry. Dry meaning just the, you know, the artist, the voiceover artist saying my name or saying whatever it is that I'm saying. And then I also like to get the same drop in wet fashion. And wet fashion has all different like swooshes and swoops and effects and all these different um, filters applied to it because there are sometimes a need for both wet and dry drops. So funny to say all this stuff out loud, but sometimes you need something with effects in it and sometimes you don't. And Tony's someone that really has thought outside of the box and offers drops to his clients, his customers, both ways. Another thing that I really like about Tony's drops and something that I think a lot of people miss is the fact that how you play as a DJ would determine how the drops are created. For instance, if I was just playing EDM music at 128 or 126 or 130 plus beats per minute, you know, the drops would be timed a certain way. What I like to do with Tony is I have drops created a number of different ways. I get drops created in that 75 to 80 BPM range. I get another set of drops created at that 100 BPM range if I'm playing party throwback hip hop, twerky stuff, moon baton, but I also get a set of drops made at a higher BPM count like 128 or 126 because I often play a lot of house music and a lot of EDM stuff even in my mixes and at my, my, my personal events. I think having drops that are timed appropriately helps you as a DJ stand out and sound much more professional when everything fits just perfectly. It just helps elevate the overall presence of whatever it is that you have going on. I typically use drops when I play in nightclubs, day clubs, bar, sports bar kind of events, even certain corporate events Drops are relevant. What I try not to ever use is drops when I do wedding events or private events that it would kind of seem out of place. I kind of come from the school of thought of if someone wants to know who you are and you're DJing somewhere, they will go out of their way to find you, to find out who you are, to get on your Instagram or your Snap or whatever it is that they use um, if you've impressed them enough with your talents and skills. So that's kind of getting into what not to do with drops and that is overuse them or use the same drop over and over again. Just because you're mixing two songs together doesn't mean you need to stick a drop in there. As a matter of fact, I kind of use the rule of thumb that I will never use a drop more than one time in a half hour. And if I'm doing a radio show that's a full hour in length, I typically only use no more than three drops, maybe one at the beginning, one at the halfway point and one at the closeout of that overall mix. At a private event, I'd never use drops. When I'm working in a club, I might use them at certain buildups or certain points of the overall night, but I try not to overdo it because again, I think if you overdo it, it sounds almost foolish, especially if your name is on a video wall, your name is on your laptop, your name is on your hat, your t-shirt, whatever you have going on. That When people are walking into that club or that bar, they're going to see your name up on the marquee or the billboard or the sign outside or whatever. You don't have to sprinkle your name everywhere all the time. I think having drops and knowing when to strategically use them is the proper way to use them. And I think that's kind of like the lesson that I hope many people take away from this kind of squirrely video that I just decided to record off the cuff. Knowing where you are, knowing the people that are in front of you, knowing the event and the parameters of the event will help guide you in the instance of how frequently or further apart you should be using your drops. I typically try not to ever use drops in any private events whatsoever, unless I had the drops created for that specific event, whether it have the the guest of honors names involved or the name of the event or the type of event mentioned in some way, shape or form. I try not to ever use drops unless they're custom for that specific event, which actually is a great add on if you're doing sweet 16s or quinceaneras or even proms that you can do custom drops for that. And the big win is if you have a link with a artist or celebrity that can help you brand not only yourself, but that event with their vocal shout out, essentially. Another thing that I think I have to mention here is I've noticed online, there's a lot of companies that offer drops 
with a call out from an artist or a celebrity. But then when it gets to the point of saying the DJ's name, it switches and it's essentially like an insert of another voice. That's something I would say don't do. Don't invest in that kind of stuff and not to hate or or throw shade at someone's business or things that they offer people. When that happens, it doesn't have the same weight that if you have an artist actually giving you an authentically real drop because you have a relationship with them or they, they support you in some way, shape or form. You can get drops done on platforms like Cameo by artists specifically with your name on it. And I think that anything that's authentic and said by an artist, by a celebrity, by someone of some type of social clout in place of inserting your name in and around something that was created by a radio station or something that was not intended to be used specifically for you as a DJ, I think is what I'm trying to say here. So if you are someone that is using those drops, just stop. They sound kind of silly. Don't use them. Get stuff that is real and authentic like this. Yes, yeah, your boy Lil John getting the crook with my homeboy DJ Jason Jenna. Let's freaking lose it. Get out of your mind. One more thing that I have to say about drops is audio integrity and having these drops mastered matters. Try not to use drops that haven't been properly mastered. Try not to use drops that sound like poop. Try not to use drops that sound amateurish. Make sure that they are engineered properly. Make sure that they are rendered out properly and they are clear and easy to follow and understand. That is how you get the most out of these drops when you use them at your events or in your mixes in the future. So I wanna talk about this really cool concept of something that I threw together at the very last minute when I went to go record this video just a short while ago. I called Tony T from Drop House, who again is my go-to for all of my professional drops. And I asked him if he would be down to work with me to do a contest here on the channel. And I'm pumped to announce it to you right here. So if you are a subscriber of my channel and you enter a comment below as to why you wanna drop, what you'll do with the drop, how the drop will help you, anything related to the drop house kind of package that we're gonna do, Tony T and I will take one 30 minute session and we will jump on a Zoom with you. We'll talk about some branding kind of tips, We'll talk about branding as a whole and your branding. We'll get to understand a little bit about who you are, what you do, how this drop package could benefit you. And then I am going to pay for a universe of drops to be created by Tony and Drop House Studio for you. It's a collab project that Tony and I are going to do for one lucky subscriber here on this channel. And again, if you want to enter to win, you have to enter a comment down below and throw a thumbs up on this video. We together are going to pick one lucky subscriber on October 31st, 2021 to and award them a very special, very customized drop kit worth a couple of hundred dollars. Now, the parameters for that drop kit may change depending on who it is that wins, but we're looking for a cool story. We're looking for someone that wants to get these drops done and to spend a half hour time with Tony and myself on a Zoom that we will record and possibly even release here on the channel to help other DJs in the future. Drops are super powerful and they've always been a big part of my overall shows and I hope that you benefit from this video. And I hope that you take the time to offer a comment down below to get involved with this super dope audio branding drop contest with myself and Tony T of Drop House Studios. If you have questions about drops, how to use them, maybe something I missed, anything at all that you'd like to share with the community here on the channel, do me a favor, drop in the comments down below, leave a comment and we'll do our best to jump in and respond and interact with each and every one of you guys. I'm going to include some information on Tony T and his Drop House Studio in the description field below, as well as his personal Drop House YouTube channel. Now, good luck to all of the subscribers that are looking to participate in this really cool branding contest that we're going to be launching right here today. Ending on 
October 31st, 2021, and I am pumped for you. My name is Jason Janai. Thanks for checking out this video. Be on the lookout for more videos dropping right here in the days, weeks, and months ahead. And thanks for the watch. Jason. Janai. Jason. 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 Janai. Janai. Janai.